Really, it's the severity of your dependence on some kind of an object or substance. Yes, I do feel that drugs are a major part of the problem in our community. They reach into all segments, um, every level of school, high school, middle school, and into adults, motoring public, um, people that use and sell drugs. So yes, it's a very wide, widespread problem. The drug of choice that we see most commonly used is marijuana and methamphetamine. Those are the two. I believe that schools uh, have a big drug problem. Um, I don't see as much methamphetamine use in the high schoolers, uh, but definitely a lot of marijuana and uh, more popular drugs for kids would be ecstasy and then of course alcohol. I believe that methamphetamine is probably the most harmful. Uh, it's very inexpensive to purchase uh, and it's very, very addictive. Uh, so my vote would probably be for methamphetamine. Aside from just drug usage, uh, people need money to buy drugs. And so that's where I feel that the impact is felt on thefts, uh, any kind of theft, uh, petty theft, uh, breaking into cars, uh, breaking into homes, and then turning that property around for money and then using it to buy drugs. Uh, a lot of people commit robberies, uh, store robberies, uh, robberies from persons uh, to support their habits. So it, it has a big impact. A high number of accidents that we have throughout the course of the year are caused by um, alcohol impairment. Um, we had approximately uh, 11 fatalities last year, and I believe seven of them were involved with alcohol. So it does play a big part in, in traffic collisions. Usually first time offenders, uh, depending on the type of drug that you're using or possessing, offender, you can go to the county jail uh, and for certain drugs you will be sent to prison. Those are felony drug possession charges so you go straight to prison on those. Uh, there's many, many drugs out there. Uh, more common drugs are methamphetamine, uh, cocaine, you'll get into your depressants that 
uh, involve uh, antidepressants, Xanax, Prozac, that kind of thing. Um, your heroin categories, your morphine products, uh, Vicodins, Percocet, uh, and of course heroin. Uh, then you have marijuana. Marijuana comes in different uh, hash oil, uh, hashish. Uh, then you get into your hallucinogenics, where your LSD is, uh, ecstasy is there. Uh, then you have your uh, dissociative anesthetics, which are PCP, uh, DXM, and then uh, I think I already mentioned uh, marijuana. Uh, so there's a, there's a variety of drugs out there uh, that we come across in the ocean side. My name is Kim Foster. I am an RN case manager for the state of California. I have been a registered nurse for 27 years, um, working in hospital and now out in the field taking care of um, Medi-Cal patients that are homebound and on life support. That's what I do at this time. I feel the most commonly used drug is probably marijuana because it's easy access. Um, easy to buy, easy to grow, and it's cheap. And when you're younger, I believe cost is a big factor. Um, I believe alcohol is the second most common drug because it is also easily accessible. And I think before you, at the very beginning, I think those are the two most common drugs that are used by teenagers. People may start using drugs because it's the kind of thing to do, possibly influenced by peer pressure, um, just to try things out because when you're young you want to try new things, just experiment. So I believe that's the first way that kids get into drugs, is experimental. I think drug and alcohol abuse can severely affect your daily life which can cause impaired judgment, um, hanging out in the wrong environment, and peer groups. Also cause debt because uh, drugs and alcohol cost a lot of money. And when you're younger, money is definitely a factor and plus possibly make you lazy. I believe that the drug that has the most severe side effect is uh, methamphetamines. I have heard that there's a 93% addiction rate and only about, just from doing it one time. And I know that kids, they want to try something, maybe try one more. After a few times, you think that your body needs it to survive and it actually doesn't. So I know that some people get out of the methamphetamine addiction, but it's only about 6%. So starting methamphetamine would definitely be a huge detriment to your life. Looking back at me, I 